welcome back to my channel. Say hey, Bing Bing. Today I'm coming to you with a review of my Nespresso Virtuo Mix, as well as my three favorite coffee. Huh? As well as my three favorite coffee recipes. So if you'd like to see my review, then just please keep watching. <laughs> please. Okay, say bye bye now. So there's a lot of mixed reviews about this Nespresso Virtuo Next. Um, looking on the actual website, I was looking at reviews and I asked for it for Mother's Day. Um, there were no reviews on it and then after, obviously, I guess it just came out and a lot of people say that um, it doesn't heat up very well or it's hard to connect to Wi-Fi and all those things. So I'm just gonna kinda show you the machine and tell you what I think about it and how my experience has been. Okay, so this is kinda how I have my coffee set up. Um, I moved some things here so normally it's just this so I have everything in arm's reach. The water tank is in the back obviously, which needs to be filled up. That's okay. But um, it's really small and sleek. I love how small it is and just how it kind of just matches and blends in nicely. Now, um, I didn't really have problems connecting it to Wi-Fi or my phone. So you just download the app and then it walks you through the instructions. So you just hit that machine. And once you open um, the machine, it honestly already tells me it's ready to brew and it just kind of tells you about your machine. I'm not quite sure what the point of the app is and why everybody's tripping over it, but I guess it does tell you when you needed to scale and stuff, but I honestly don't think that's necessary. If you can't connect to Wi-Fi or to the machine from your phone, I just feel like that's not necessary because you don't need it for anything else. But anyways, so the way I brew my coffee, I um, have my coffee pods on the sides here. Okay, to start off, I'm just gonna go ahead and fill this up with some more water. Okay, so now that the water's on, you literally just click the button to get it heated up. And I find that when you do that first, it allows the uh, coffee to get really hot. That is one thing that kind of is not good about this machine is that it doesn't get super, super hot. And I'm just gonna open it up. I'm gonna start out with my husband's coffee. His favorite one is the caramel cookie um, pod. And it's not really strong, but it, he just likes anything caramel. So you go ahead and stick that in there, close it lock it and then you just click the button and then it's gonna brew so while that's brewing i always 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 froth the milk sorry it's kind of loud because i find that if you just put this cold creamer into the coffee it's not good so for him he likes um his southern butter pecan uh creamer and i just go ahead and fill it up to the first line there's two lines in the frother here, so I go ahead and fill it up to the set, the first line. And while that's brewing, I just go ahead and turn this one. Just go ahead and turn that on. And the caramel cookie brews um, 7.7 .7 ounces of coffee. And while that's brewing, I go ahead and just add like a squirt of the white chocolate flavored sauce from Ghirardelli. And I just do like one little squirt. And that's it for his. His is pretty simple. And when it's done, you know, there you go. Um, a lot of people said they had problems with theirs brewing and not heating up. And I just, I have not experienced that. I've made so many cups of coffee and it's just phenomenal in my opinion. When this light goes off, which it just did, so now I know we're done with the milk frothing. And then I honestly just stir it around a little bit. I honestly take off some of the foam at the top. I'm gonna take some off and put it in the sink. Okay, so now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and pour the frothed creamer. And I just, I mean, it's like, I don't do anything fancy. Look what I just did, Lord. And then I always put a little foam on top. Stir it up a little bit. And his cup of joe is done. So that's one down. Okay, so my personal favorite is to do a double shot of espresso. So I go ahead and put that in there. And I really like that it tosses the pods in the back. So it really is just so easy to use. So I'm putting the double espresso pot in there. And I like to make a latte. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and just put what I normally put in there before I brew it. I go ahead and put the white chocolate sauce and I probably count like to two, one, two. And then I take the vanilla um, syrup from Starbucks. This is like my drink I get at Starbucks so I just let, love that I can make it at home. And I count to two for this, one, two, kind of like two pumps, you know, I'm just kind of like I'm a bartender. <laughs> and then I go ahead and turn that on. And then for my creamers, I either like using my son's lactate milk or oat milk. So for this, I go ahead and fill this up um, to probably one in between the first and the second line. And I'm just gonna go ahead and froth that as well. And obviously with the double shot, it's not gonna brew a full cup because it's literally two shots of espresso. So that's gonna come up pretty high and then that one's pretty low. And I find a lot of time, if you actually use real milk, it's gonna froth up a lot more than like your creamers or not your real milk. So I, I tend to stop this before it gets too, too froth. But you have to, honestly with this, you have to use your frother or else it's not gonna stay hot. The coffee will be lukewarm and uh, who wants a lukewarm cup of coffee? Okay, so that's done. So I'm gonna go ahead and stir this up. And I just leave the foam in mine. Okay, so this is getting pretty high. It leaks over if you let it go too long. Once it gets pretty high, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut it off. And then I'm just gonna pour it in there like we did the last one, just a little more neater. So I make sure the milk goes first, then the foam. So I fill this pretty much all the way up. And I stir it up. I don't do any fancy designs. And there's my latte right here. So now we have two down, one more to go. So my favorite cup of coffee that I've tried so far is this Bianco Forte brews an eight ounce cup of coffee. And this is just so good to me. I'm gonna go ahead and brew that. And I always add this white chocolate sauce cause it's just delicious. So I'm just gonna add one little squirt in there and then I'm gonna put a creamer in here. My favorite creamer is the Vanilla Coffee Mate, French Vanilla Coffee Mate. And I just fill that up just a little bit because I don't like mine too, too sweet. And I'm just gonna froth this. And then since I use such a small cup of coffee, <laughs> coffee cup, I'm gonna take some of the foam off the top because if you see, I mean, it produces a nice cream, but I'm gonna go ahead and take that off. And I'm sure that's the Nespresso experience, but I mean, I just don't really care for it. <laughs> so I'm stirring up that white chocolate sauce at the bottom, and then once this is done, I'm gonna pour it in, and y'all, that is it. Okay, I'm getting impatient, so I'm gonna cut it off. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna pour it on in there. And there we go. So after it's done being used, it just cuts off on its own. But these three right here are my three favorite coffee recipes. Um, I go for this daily because I don't know, I just need that extra boost of energy, but my husband loves this one. So if you guys, if you see how they turned out, they're super good. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this one so you guys know I'm telling the truth, but I really do like it. Yum. One of the main things I love about this coffee machine is that it literally brews you like Starbucks worthy coffee at home for like a dollar a pod. I love my French butt press, so I still use that, but if I want something quick and on the go and that's like delicious, like really good, <laughs> I go for this. So I hope you find this video somewhat helpful and I'll catch y'all on my next one. Bye.